Hi friends, welcome to Ajay Automates channel. So in this video, we are going to quickly see about the test automation interview questions asked in Infosys in the month of October 2024, that is this current month. So this interview is for Selenium and BDD Cucumber framework role and the candidate should have 3 to 8 years experience. Okay, let's start. So the interview as usual started with self introduction and roles and responsibilities and uh, then the question started from cucumber bdd framework so what are the components of your bdd framework so as you know you have uh, different files like feature files step definition test runner files and you follow page object model design patterns and you can explain about the reporting and uh, j unit part as well okay so the next question was like how many scenarios you are maintaining in a single feature file so this is a tricky question so it is recommended to keep 10 scenarios for a single feature file so uh, be uh, careful while answering this question also this interview is for only 30 minutes okay and the mode is online mode okay so let's see the next question so what are the keywords used in cucumber framework so as you know there are different keywords like given when then and background scenario scenario outline so whatever keywords you are aware of you can explain and the next question is like what is the purpose of given when and then step okay so as you know given step usually contains the initial context of the test case so we specify the initial context of the test case and the when step usually contains the actual test we are going to do okay so it's used to specify the action that we are going to test okay and the then step is used to specify the expected result so whatever we are expecting we will specify it in the then step okay so the next question is what are the softwares required to perform cucumber framework testing so as you know we need eclipse editor or any editors and we need java and your machine and we need maven also okay and you need to configure all your cucumber related jar files in your pom.xml file if you are using a maven framework okay so basically you need an editor java maven and cucumber related dependencies okay so the next question is what is the version control tool you are using so you can explain about git or any other version tools you are using okay so the next question is like is cucumber framework useful for testing larger volume applications that is kind of bigger applications can we use cucumber framework yes we can definitely test large volume applications using cucumber framework okay so the next question is what is the use of scenario outline in cucumber suppose consider there is a scenario and we have to test it with different combinations of input values we can go for scenario outline okay that is the same scenario can be tested multiple times okay with the different combinations of values we go for scenario outline difference between feature file and step definition file in cucumber this is a common question asked in most of the interviews so feature file it contains the code written in plain english text that is in jergen language okay whereas step definition file actually contains the selenium code written in it. so that is the major difference okay next question is what is scenario context so basically it's a class and it stores information in the form of key value pair okay so it's a class to hold the test data information specifically and you have to answer this key value pair combination also for this question okay so then they ask to share the screen and write a simple cucumber test for testing the login page so please do some hands-on training if you're going to attend interviews okay and the next question is like how will you assign tags to cucumber text so tags is similar to grouping in test ng okay so consider you are going to tag few test cases a smoke test and regression test you need to add the tag name in your feature file as well as you have to add the tag name in your runner classes as well okay so this question is also very important so the next question is like if you have multiple tags how will you run all the tests so basically you have to run um, most of the tags you have created like so if you have created tags for smoke regression or mobile related test cases you can add a and keyword in between the test to run multiple tags at the same time okay so and you have to specify as i said and using and keyword so the next question is like when do you use background keyword okay so consider when there is a step which is common to all the scenarios uh, and in the feature file we have we will use background keyword 
okay consider there is a common step you are adding in your feature file so at that time to eliminate the com eliminate the common step we use background keyword and avoid repetitions okay so what is the next question is what is the use of cucumber hooks okay so hooks are nothing but some block of code okay so you remember about at before and after after keywords right so annotations right so to define hooks we need annotations like at before or at after okay so consider you need some code uh, to run before the test and after the test we will be using cucumber hooks okay next question is what is the use of cucumber options so cucumber options you would have seen in test runner class so basically it's used to specify configurations to the test runners okay this is an important question cucumber options so consider you are you are going to execute some scenarios and you are going to exclude some scenarios you can define in the cucumber options okay so the next question is related to dry run so why do we define dry run in cucumber okay so the answer is cucumber dry run is nothing but it checks whether all the steps defined in feature files have corresponding step definitions map to it okay before the test begin that is important before the test begins dry run checks whether all the steps defined in the feature files have corresponding step definitions map to it okay so let's see the next question so when do you use data table okay so this is also a common question so to maintain large volume of input parameters we go for data table in cucumber test okay so what is jerkin language so as you know jerkin language is used for us to create cucumber test and it's very easy because someone who does not have programming language also can see our test and understand what automation testing we are going to do okay so it's basically the language we are using to create our cucumber test okay. so how do you do test reporting so you can explain the process if you are using extend reports you can explain about extend reports okay how do you exclude a test scenario in cucumber so to exclude test scenario we have a tag called at skip so we can use that tag at skip here okay so next question is difference between soft and hard assertion so soft assertion if you are using soft assertion consider you are running a test and if the test is getting failed the remaining at test method won't get executed whereas hard if you are using hard assertion the test won't get stopped the remaining test will still get executed so it's more preferred to use hard assertion than soft assertion okay so let's see the next question so how will you handle synchronization we can use implicit wait explicit weights to handle synchronization and you can explain about when we you will use implicit and explicit weights okay how will you automate drop downs alerts so these are some common question asked in mo most of the bdd and test ng framework interviews so for automating drop downs we use select package and for alerts we use switch to methods okay so how will you handle dynamic web elements using absolute x path we can handle dynamic web elements and when do you see null pointer exception so suppose you are trying to take any data from any external files like excel or properties files and when the data is when there is no data then we will see null pointer exception okay so selenium test is trying to take data but in the excel or property there might be no data okay so at that time we will see null pointer exception and what are the advantages of cucumber framework so cucumber framework main advantage is someone does not having programming language they can also understand the jerkin language okay that is one major advantage and it supports various programming languages and the setup is simple okay so it's compatible with many software platforms like selenium ruby etc okay and finally there were some questions from agile man management trust most of the projects works on agile technology now so there were some questions on agile related Okay, like how long sprint planning will happen what will you discuss in sprint planning and what will you discuss in daily scrum meetings etc okay so the interview duration as i said is for 30 minutes and around 25 to 30 questions were asked in this 30 minutes okay so that's all we have in this video so i hope this video will be really useful for your career and the upcoming interviews you are going to attend and please do subscribe my channel Ajay Automates for more automation testing training videos and interview related preparations. And if you are looking for testing trainings and manual automation API, you can reach us at tbmfreshers training at gmail.com. Once again, thank you. Take care. Bye.